Hey, I want to give you several techniques that we have used with our clients to help them actually follow through with hitting workouts and actually making sure that they're tracking the food to see weight loss results that are actually consistent. So there are two different techniques that I'm going to give you today, and um, I'm going to make this as concise as I possibly can. But these techniques are things that are actually mindset or habit techniques that I've learned over the years. And believe it or not, they work really, really well. So the very first one I'm going to give you is actually the what's known as the good, great, and awesome goal system. So the good, great, and awesome goal is a system is what we actually teach to help people to set a minimum goal, a mid-range goal, and a high-tier range goal. And what this does is it prevents us from having a goal that we never reach where we barely, you know, meet our expectations, such as like only working out once a week and it's not enough to build a, an actual habit. But it also prevents us from doing the excessive that usually burns us out where we're trying to work out six or seven times a week or maybe even twice a day specifically because we just want to speed up our results. Unfortunately, doing those things usually leads to burnout, to injury, or some form of metabolic slowing. So this using this habit, this technique is going to greatly, greatly help you to make sure that you're not on the excessive side of either side of working out or hitting your nutrition. So what we do is we teach that your good goal would be three times a week or three, let's see, three, it's been a long time since I've done it this way, three times like a little kid. Uh, so three times a week would be your good goal. Four times a week would be your great goal, and five times a week would be your awesome goal. Now, we use the same thing for even doing other things, setting your goals, like if you wanted to lose 50 pounds, you know, maybe you want to lose it 50 pounds in six months, but maybe that goal feels a little bit overwhelming. So let's call that your awesome goal. So 50 pounds in six months is your awesome goal, then one below that might be 50 pounds in seven months is your great goal, and one below that might be 50 pounds in eight months. What this does is it ensures that you reach your goal, but it prevents you from ever having the all or nothing principle that prevents you from actually following through. The last one I'm going to give you is actually what we do called, uh, what we use is like weather versus climate. So a lot of times you might feel like, oh my gosh, I missed a workout and you feel afraid or you had a bad day of diet and you're like, oh my gosh, man, I'm falling back on my old habits. I want you to pause the brakes for a second because I want to give you this technique that will help you to not freak out anymore because you're going to have a basis or a premise that will keep you in alignment with something that's more sustainable. So as you know, weather we would describe as like maybe a storm coming through. Weather might be described to say the weather is bad outside lately, but climate is something where you know that consistently that's the weather of that area. It's something that doesn't happen with a storm occasionally. It's constantly that weather. So the same thing happens with our fitness. We might be having a week where, you know, on that Tuesday we miss a workout, okay? And it might feel like we want to be tempted or we're tempted immediately to feel like, oh my gosh, this is bad and we feel guilt or shame. And this is where I want to actually pause you because what I want you to do is tell you, I want you to treat this as just weather. You're not going to freak out with this. You're just going to treat it as weather. Now, why are we going to do this? Because... What we do is we teach that if you do, if you miss a day, it's still weather. If you miss two days in a row, it's still weather. Three days in a row, it's getting a little sketchy, but it's still weather. Now, what we teach is that when you hit four days in a row of missing your workout or being off on your diet, now it's time to see like, hey, this is starting to look like a habit. This is what we call climate. This is now where you actually take a step back and go, have I bitten off more than I chew or more than I can chew? Have I spread myself too thin or do I not have enough margin or what's the real issue that's going on? And now you can actually create what's called helpful thinking or solution-based thinking or strategies instead of feeling just guilty or ashamed because you missed a workout or two, okay? So this is what we do. I hope that this helps you guys. Our whole mission here is to help everybody to get to food and exercise freedom like we have. Because I work out, but I don't work out nonstop around the clock. I eat uh, healthy, but I don't eat healthy all the time. I eat fun food, but I don't eat that all the time either. It's all the balance. So these techniques are here to help you to get that balance. If you feel like this helped you, if you feel like this resonates, be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are and if you're going to try this as well. Thanks so much, guys. If you want extra help on understanding food freedom, also drop me a comment 
hashtag food freedom down below and we'll send you our free guide on the metabolism and fat loss and what actually matters to cause fat loss that lasts forever. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you on the next one.